Dr. Max uh, here at Max Medical uh, Robotic Hair Transplant Clinic. We're here with Vic who came from Chicago for a uh, uh, hair transplant and we're planning to do 3,000 grafts. Um, uh, we have more than enough uh, hair and with robotic technology we have the highest precision available in on the market today for hair restoration. Uh, we're gonna begin with uh, creating uh, the hairline. Hairline uh, creation is considered to be an art in hair restorative, restorative surgeries uh, so because it has to match uh, an individual uh, characteristic of uh, face and that's what we're doing right now. Okay, so we're gonna start with the hairline uh, anterior part kind of to mimic what the lowest hair here okay and I'm using a tool from uh, all the calls uh, that help us to place those dots symmetrically on both sides okay it looks kind of fun I take a look at so like in uh, the commercial okay so what I'm going to do so typically um, one of the general principles we look at the angle the lateral angle of the eye and that's where the hairline will take a sharp return towards the back we have to of course create a mainly looking hairline and so if we at this part so it's about here so we just finished uh, the first part of creating the hairline and I kind of followed the remnants of the hair anteriorly and uh, I want to make sure everything is symmetric of course it's the actual hairline will be zigzagging with the robot we have the ability to make it uh, look natural uh, and we'll show you throughout the process how it actually works okay so the two parts this this part for the site making will be done with the robot this part the occipital the, the, the uh, uh, vortex will be done manually okay and that's the day before the actual procedure so we're gonna start tomorrow we're gonna start with uh, robotic harvesting and placing now I'm in the process of creating uh, a design of the vortex and here's a little more tricky because um, the hair changed direction several times in the back so uh, I'm gonna start by um, looking uh, with my microscope glasses magnifying glasses to see where the uh, different directions and it's kind of uh, um, kind of like a little so it looks like it's uh, it starts from here and what we do I'm create a, I'm going to create a pattern to highlight a different hair directions and when I place incisions it's gonna help me to follow it and so So the back of the hat will look completely natural. 